You're probably using Arduino IDE for your programming project. And it is a very good IDE, a very solid IDE. It got the job done. And um, did you know that you can use uh, VS Code to do exactly the same thing? Uh, to do your programming, your Arduino programming in uh, VS Code, but with so much more features than what you get in the Arduino IDE. VS Code is an IDE that uh, is 10 years in the making. Uh, it has hundreds of features. And uh, I'm going to show you how to set up Arduino in VS Code. But before going into the details of the setup, I just want to show you some features that uh, you can use in VS Code and uh, maybe uh, give you some, um, some reason to switch to uh, VS Code for your Arduino project. Now you can see on my screen that I have uh, color coding for um, for my uh, Arduino uh, project, and um, <clears throat> you can see that uh, uh, the color scheme is using green for comments, uh, blue for uh, deep blue for uh, type declaration, light blue for variable declaration, yellow for the uh, uh, the functions. Uh, actually, you can use many color scheme in uh, VS Code. Actually, I'm using the um, a theme that is called Dark Plus, but you can use as many uh, uh, a theme that uh, that suits your uh, your preference. Here, we can have a red theme. It's it's ugly from my point of view. Uh, there's so many so many themes that you can uh, choose from. There's a solarized dark. Uh, so uh, there's many you can choose from and uh, we'll just switch to my uh, dark team which is uh, if I remember well this one okay um, so uh, another feature is uh, you have this icon that is called the uh, fold icon actually it's for folding a uh, function on folding functions, so you can add high details of some function. Let's say that uh, these functions, you know, they are working well and you want to concentrate on uh, some functions that you are currently modifying or testing. So you can just fold uh, details of your functions so you can concentrate on functions you are working on and be more productive. And again, uh, it's more readable when you have some uh, details uh, eyed out uh, using the fold uh, the fold icon. Uh, here on the right, you have a mini map, which uh, is another way of navigate uh, navigating through the code. Uh, with the mini map, you can jump at any point in your code uh, very very fast, and you can see the color coding uh, also on the mini map. So you see here at the end of the file, I have a, a lot of uh, commented lines and I can go quickly to see what the code is uh, commented in the, at the end of the file. I can jump in the orange section to see the header files that uh, uh, I have included in my project. Um, another nice feature is uh, to be able to enlarge the font that you're using. Uh, when uh, editing your code, so you can zoom in and enlarge the font as as large as you want. Uh, so it's very easy to do. And by the way, I'm pressing F1 to uh, to access this uh, this this menu uh, that uh, you see here. So let's reset uh, the font size. Now, when you do changes to your code, let's say for example where we add uh, an example function. And let's say uh, in the loop function, I disable this uh, function. Uh, I can quickly see the changes that I've made uh, by using a feature of uh, VS Code uh, that is called uh, File Compare. <clears throat> so you see here the original file. 
and here the file with the changes that I uh, just made. And uh, you can see that I have added the example function here in the file and that I have uh, commented this line of code in the loop function. So it's very easy to, uh, uh, to uh, see changes that you've made to the, um, your file. For let's say, for example, that I'm adding here a, uh, a longer delay, 1000 millisecond, which is uh, one second. Again, can go to the uh, uh, change file function and see here marked in red that I have uh, changed the delay to from one millisecond to 1000 millisecond. So it's very easy to see the changes that you've made. And by the way, this function that I'm using, the file compare function, it's actually included in uh, the source control function of VS Code. So you can use you can use source control to control the changes uh, that you're making to your uh, to your code. And I can even if I go to the um, let's say the timeline here, I can go back in time and see how the file looked like. Uh, 20 hours before I made my changes. So uh, source control is uh, is another story. It's uh, it's a very powerful function, and you can have uh, you can get information on uh, on the web if you want to use it. Okay. So now, if you don't have VS Code installed on your computer, you just have to go to the um, visualstudio.com website and you have a choice of installing um, VS Code for Mac OS, uh, Windows and you can install it even on the Linux machine. So you download the install, you install it on your computer and the next thing you need to do to be able to work with uh, Arduino is to go to the extensions, uh, the extensions manager and you search in the search function Arduino and you will see at the top, at the very top, uh, you will see appear the Arduino uh, extension from Microsoft. So you click on it and you will have here a button called install. Here I have the uninstalled uh, option because it's already installed on my computer. But uh, uh, if you it's it's your for your first time you will see the install button. So click on install. It will take around uh, I think two to three minutes to install because uh, it's installing all the um, the packages it needs to to for you to be able to edit code in Arduino. So once once it's installed, um, you will have access to uh, some functionalities that are uh, uh, specific to the Arduino development. First of all, you will see here on the right, on the top right corner, uh, icons to uh, verify your Arduino code and to compile your Arduino code and to upload it to your uh, microcontroller. Here at the bottom, you can see that uh, I have the uh, Arduino board selected, so I can change the board if I want to, uh, for example, if I'm doing uh, uh, code for the Arduino Nano, I can change the board here. It's very easy. Uh, also here we have the COM port. Uh, select the COM port for the upload function of the Arduino and for um, serial communication. And for serial communication, actually, for to open the serial communication, uh, the serial monitor, I click here on the icon. It will open the serial communication on the COM port, but you just have to make sure that you're using the same the same board rating as you have in your code. And actually, it should be uh, 9600 board, if I'm not mistaken. Where is it? Uh, it's here. So 9600 board. You have to switch here to 9600 board on VS Code, and you will see that the serial communication is open. Actually, I have an Arduino board connected to my computer uh, that uh, you cannot see. So if I want to check the code uh, before uploading it, uploading it, I can click this icon 
you will see that uh, there's an output here on the right side of the screen. It could be on the, the bottom side of your screen if you don't change the setting of uh, uh, the position of the terminal window. So it's good. So I can upload it to my uh, Arduino microcontroller. So it will be uh, verifying first the code, uploading it. And it will switch to the serial monitor automatically if the serial monitor is open like this. Also, um, you can go pressing F1 key. Uh, you can access the library manager. Uh, the same thing, the same library manager that you have on the original Arduino IDE, you can have access to it in uh, VS Code. So you can install the libraries that you need uh, for your specific, uh, specific needs. Uh, the serial manager uh, is available here at the bottom, like I said. So that's it for the setting up of the uh, Arduino environment in VS Code. It's very easy. The only thing you need to do is to install the Arduino extension, uh, adjust your setting, your setting here for the Arduino board, the board rate for the serial communication, uh, the USB port to be to use the serial the the serial port to use, and uh, you're good to go.